Hi, today I'm going to show you how to put together a catatonk and a catatonk hunter kit. Uh, these are the simplest kits to put together. All you have to do is sand them, uh, glue the spur in, and uh, apply some kind of finish. I'm going to apply linseed oil for a finish. The kit comes with a spur and a handle. The, the spur for the catatonk hunter uh, comes in the kit. It, it fits into here like that. The important thing about the catatonk hunter is exactly where that spur fits in there. It, it has to be in alignment with, uh, with the dart. So you have to make sure that, that spur fits right in the end of the dart when you push it back like this. So there's, there's a couple adjustments that you might have to make uh, on the catatonk hunter and that is to either bring this out or push it back in. You may have to remove a little bit of the material from the back end of the spur on this in order to make it fit properly. You also may have to file uh, this groove here or this groove here to allow that the allow the spear shaft to be in perfect alignment with that spur. That spur is a little bit long. Maybe it'll push in a little further. Yeah, I would say that 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 I have to sand maybe an eighth of an inch off of that spur, or in the alternative, I can take a little bit off here with a file. The, the catatonk is much simpler than that. Basically, you just sand it, oil it, glue the spur in. It's done. Step one, you, you sand your atlatl with your uh, coarse sandpaper. This atlatl is much harder to sand than the catatonk. It takes quite a bit of time to get these Risers all nicely sanded. Get get comfortable because it's going to take a while. It takes a long time to sand these down. That's all there is to it. This one is also hickory, which is harder to sand. I'm now sanding with a finer grade of sandpaper. I'm going to show you a different way of finishing an atlatl using a propane torch. Uh, in this method, you, you actually char the wood. You char it until it turns black. The secret to uh, charring an atlatl like this is not to burn it up. You just get it black and then, you know, make sure it's, it doesn't catch on fire. This really looks good though. I, I really like the way it comes out. You have to oil it several times to get the luster to come out right. I think that looks pretty good. So the next step is to use steel wool to buff the surface of the charred wood off. Okay, that ought to be good enough for that. I'm going to wipe the dust off of it. Now I'm going to apply the linseed oil. I'm going to saturate this rag with uh, linseed oil. A little bit of enough. And just put it on liberally. This uh, finish gives you a nice dark black finish. 
but it doesn't hide the wood a lot. You can see the grain of the wood through the, the black. Depending on how much you buff off, you can reveal some of the wood again. I'll just wipe the excess oil off right now. If you give it a good hard rub, it, it polishes up pretty nicely. That looks pretty good. So now we have to make sure that this all fits together correctly. So by by putting the dart on here, I can tell that that the riser is too high and it needs to be removed a little bit over here to this side. So I have to f file away at this uh, riser here. This is a round file and I'm going to, it's going to take a while to do this. I think I'm going to take, I'm going to saw this off a little bit too. So I have to, I have to adjust the length of this spur by cutting off about a bit, an eighth of an inch of it. Okay, I got that cut off of there. Let's try it now. Okay, so um, after working on this for quite a while, I made adjustments here, here, and here to make sure the alignment of this dart was perfect. You need to be able to slide that on there and get that to hook right in. It, it takes a lot of trial and error to get that to work. I, I, I whittled here, I whittled here, I whittled here, and I also adjusted the length of the spur until I got it just right. That's the important part of this... Uh, process getting this uh, dart, this atlatl to work really well. Um, I'm going to take the torch and uh, darken these areas here and re-oil them. I'm going to pull my spur out and get that done. Good. Wipe that in there. I just re-oil the whole atlatl right now at this point. I like the way these dark finishes come out. So my, the last little thing that I'm going to do is glue in the spur. Put a little glue in here. Some glue on the spur. There, that looks good off the excess glue and let it dry. Test it one more time. Perfect. I'm liking that one. The Catatonk Hunter finished. So I, I finished the Catatonk Hunter but um, I want to show you the Catatonk. The Catatonk is much easier to finish than the Catatonk Hunter. You don't have to align anything. All you do, do is uh, sand it off, um, apply whatever finish you want, and glue that spur in, and you're done. Um, I, I suppose you could just glue the spur in and, and call it done too. It's, it's, not, it's not that important to get it all finished properly, but 
I, I like a nicely finished hat ladle, so I would recommend doing it. Um, the spur is uh, easy enough to glue in. You want to make sure there's a you've done a trial fit. If the spur is a little bit too tight, then sand it off a little bit or whatever. You know, glue it in there nicely, and you got a good hat ladle. So there's a catatonk and the catatonk hunter. Two nice atlatls from Thunderbird Atlatl. Thank you very much for watching our video.